All right, guys. I was going to start a car because I got pretty much everything ready for it, and I crank like like very slow, and then nothing. I'm like, okay, I mean, well, okay, I have a a low battery, but uh, it was not the issue. So I went ahead and uh, I have this uh, battery charging and and maintainer for like programming that I use on a snap on from a snap on. Uh, let me just uh, connect the jaws onto the to the battery, which is right here in the trunk. Like that I can show you guys what the battery voltage is right now. It's the car is not even, I mean it doesn't now do anything. And I'm like alright, so what's going on? It's okay, just connect the jaws of the charger in there just to see the, the battery voltage. Uh, I've been trying, you know, like ignition on, ignition on right now. It's in 12.2, but at least it should, it should do something, you know. And I had it on, on up to 13.3 because I put this, the charger on it. So the car is not starting. Now I went over to Sentry to get the information. I'm sorry to Wiz to get the information. I'm going to show you how I uh, get the information and how I also save it. So what I did first, you do a search, and in the search I just put you know Sam. Uh, let me go back so you guys can see exactly what I got. And that will be fuse segment. Let me one second before I go too far to save this information because is a little bit you have to go over to engine fuse assignment remotes and engine compartment so this one this is the document that I open so this will give me the layout out of the fuses and release on the front SAM which is you know where everything is located this is this, you know, the description of what everything is the L relay is the one for the starter These are the fuses uh, that I need. So I know that I need to have power on fuse 43 and fuse uh, 59, which 59 is in here and 43 is in here. I already checked that and it's fine. All right, let me say the bookmark because I want to show that to you guys too. So what you do is open in Sentry. I hope that is being recorded right. You just click there and then just put a, a keyword so I remember. So. I'm just gonna put engine SAM. I know it's a front SAM, but okay. And then in the note, they're gonna put it's a uh, 2000 or you know just 09 E320 and Blue Tech. All right, like that, I save the information so I can go back to it. And uh, this is how you get it. You know, like uh, this is like. I select the car with the big number which is right here that's uh, 2009 right so it says blue tech and everything right here so I just put you know Sam and that's going to tell you you know Sam signal register selection module then you have to click in here and all information types and then start search and then when I went down is um, let's see I'm too far now. Wire diagrams. I have. I'm looking for. I was actually looking for the uh, uh, driver Sam. Rear Sam. Because that will give you all the Sams. The rear, the driver. So one second. Rear driver. Let me see if I can get the engine one here. Wire diagram module. Yeah, rear. Come on, see so much of stuff that you have to go well. Um, wire diamond for driver sam control fuel release module. I think e even if you click in this one, it's going to take you to it. Because all you got to do is search information, fuses and relays, boxes, configuration. See, like right here and then I think if I if we open this one let's see if I am correct or not my guess give me the one for the driver's side yeah you see so even by just open the driver's side uh, or the driver's side Sam I'm scrolling down and it's giving me also options to see like in here fuse assignment relay box on engine compartment and that's the 
the um, document that I opened before I have you know what I need and uh, the fuses so I'm going to show you what I have done so the tests are have to be done with ignition on like I said okay so <coughs> this is how you test your starter so the fuse 43 is this 15 and the 59 is this 20 right here they're both good so when I gonna went ahead and um, I put this uh, extension there I'm going to show you where I got that from too it's just like a master relay um, testing tool uh, it's from from Lyle let me go there so I show you guys if you guys want to get it that's very very handy so this is a uh, 6660 from Lyle is a deluxe relay test kit and like I said that comes with like pretty much all the relays that you want to check that's what I got in there I got some extra relays in in there too as well new relay so most of the uh, problems on the car are usually a fuse or a relay because I changed this relay because if you see it well actually which one I have in it well no I actually have the original in it so the way this one works is terminal uh, 30 and 87 which are the big the you know the uh, sorry right here the copper color those will be your uh, load side and then the uh, gold color will be your control side in original numbers this will be one two and this will be three and five so when you energize or you know put the car into the wrong position these two should close this uh, circuit the switch will pull and then the coil will energize you know letting the power go from 30 to 87 or 3 to 5 so what I did is uh, I put a, a test slide on terminal 5 which is the one that goes to the starter and to ground in here and I did the same on the starter uh, let me raise, raise up the jack so you guys can see that too so what I did is I put another test slide on the terminal at the starter that is going to be the same power coming from the relay to make sure the wiring is good all the way down to the starter, right? Because like I said again, it's not even cranking. So I found myself a good ground. Oh, let's try this. i show you the, the best so you guys can see how to, to test it. Because the final result that I got from here is both test lights are coming on, meaning that we have power, a starter should engage, and it's not happening. Almost there. Okay. So that's the uh, that, that's the test light that I had Greek. I got a alligator uh, taking ground from the alternator. Um, case and other starter let me make sure I can you guys see that uh, right there and other started are the S terminal which will be the start it's the smallest cable you will have I had the other wire from the test light so if the circuit closes meaning that we have the power coming from the relay all the way to here this light should light up and I already did the test but I'm going to show you and every, everything is light is it's lightning so that tells us that we have a better starter let's stop one second just to lower the jack okay so I got the car down now we're gonna do the test you guys will be able to see this light right here so what I'm going to do is just crank the car and expect that light to come on let's see which one is the best position for you guys okay I got the ignition on I'm going to crank the car you're gonna see that this light coming on all right that one is on and it stays on for a little bit hopefully and you see the bottom one too is on now it's going to stop by itself because it takes like three or five seconds of cranking a little more so all my circuit and everything is good because i'm like okay what's going on you know but i even got the scanner hooked up to see if i have any codes no codes so starters no good so that's the way you check a starter I already checked the main battery terminal uh, terminal the starter at uh, the starter and we have plenty of use so this is a better starter nothing I can do so we're gonna have to replace the starter and then keep going with the repair